special edition live on the on a Friday. Usually we go live on Sunday, but this is special. This is much needed. Um, what's good, y'all? Hello, bring the energy. Come on, man. Get wake the fuck up. God <laughs> damn. Did you hear I'm what old. this nigga said at the beginning? I'm old. I'm old. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna stop making fun of you. Like the awkward, the awkward shit got to go. What's wrong? I'm not even. I'm not gonna do it no more. I'm just gonna fucking oh, just click the screen. I'm like, yeah. all right, I we're talking. No. I just don't think you can. I think you're so awkward. Yeah, you're stuck into <laughs> your awkwardness. That's you and your like awkwardness it. are one. And then you have to like point it out. I don't here. even like the introduction. I don't like introducing us, man. That shit is not me. I don't have it in me. Well, yet you do it every single time without. We'll not do it no more. It is no, done no, no, no. <laughs> in the yeah, most bro. awkward way as possible. It's, it's done, young Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> all right, all right. Nah, Let's get to the topic at hand. What we talking bro. about today, man? What we talking yeah. about today? About about these hoes and their unrealistic rela- <laughs> unrealistic unrealistic thoughts of how oh. fucking date should go. Oh. Ah, ah, <laughs> fucking <laughs> nigga got nigga got tongue tied talking about this shit, man. Because it's a fucking it's there's like, a list there's a list going around. There's a list going around, and it's pretty provocative on the internet. Um, I believe it originated on Twitter and it's uh, talking about all the places you cannot take a woman that is unacceptable to take women. Uh, there's also another list. Uh, what was that other list, Kev? Uh, the other list was uh, how much a man should spend on his woman. And it would, like all, all these fucking lists, they don't never have how much a woman should spend on a man. I guess that's zero dollars. But I mean, we'll, you know. we'll we can discuss that. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. I, I it's just me speaking out loud. But uh, I got the my shit right in front of me. So here's I'm just gonna name these shits off real quick, and then we're just gonna fucking get into what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. So what's I'm gonna name doing? them off. Come on, Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, the house, any fast food chain. Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, the gym, church, Starbucks, coffee dates, ice cream dates, family functions, movie nights, somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, a hookah bar, a bar just for drinks, Waffle House, sport events, sports events. Okay. First of all, so so, so of what all, so what does that leave? Nah, it it only leaves roof house steak. Chris, uh, whatever fancy oh restaurant. I'm just, I'm just saying. What does it not leave out? I'm guessing what Roof house steak. Chris is my <laughs> new <laughs> fucking <laughs> place. <laughs> fucking go. Go. See? Let me go Roof to Roof house, house. Get that steak. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. Whatever. Roof's Chris. Roof Chris. That's it. That's it. Okay. You put so more words in it. No, no. <laughs> I know. And then rearranging shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's some fire shit in there that if I was dating now, if I was a dating man, I would go. The gym, fire. Um, There was another one in there. Uh, first date, dog. This is first dates, dog. You yeah, really yeah. going to take the gym, uh, okay. the gym, fire. And then there was okay. another one in there. And I, I'm sad I don't got the list in front of me. <laughs> there was another one in there that's genius. What, and coffee date? No. I can't read them off again. I'm sorry. Or send it okay. to me or something. I'm ready. Know. I'm going to send chat. it to you. It's on the chat. It's in the group. Well, I got my oh, phone. I got my phone. He got his phone. Yeah. Cheesecake yeah. Factory. Stop me. Applebee's. Chili's. Chipotle. Olive Garden. The Movies. Your House. Any Fast Food. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wingstop. Red Lobster. A Buffet. IHOP. Denny's. You said the gym. Church. Starbucks. Coffee dates. Ice cream dates. Family functions. Movie nights. Somewhere that requires a long drive. Bowling. Nightclubs, hookah bar, a bar just for drinks, Waffle House, or sport events. Sport events, sport yeah, events okay. in church. Yeah, a couple of them are fire. Sporting events okay. in church. If I take a woman to a sporting event and she's the type of woman to appreciate that, that's actually fire. Like if you got that kind of woman, it's a couple girls that's hardcore Eagles fans. Now nah, we can bond over that, and I can really see how you give it up. Church, yeah. I want me a good girl. We going to church. Let me see how you praise. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple of them that whoever wrote that list probably is a hoe because me, they want to go where hoes go. Me personally, so, I like shit like bowling. Like 
you come out bowling with me we just out there busting it up having having a little competitiveness but at the same time cheering each other on you know what i mean no going out to get something to eat you know what i mean i'm I'm sorry. I thought when you were going on a first date, it was to get to know the person. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I don't even know you that well to be trying to spoil you already. What you talking about? You know the what reason, I mean? The, the reason, reason they do the the reason why guys, I'm just gonna throw this out there. The reason why guys are not doing these three to four hundred dollar dates, and this is just one of the reasons. Some of you hoes is just hungry and mm-hmm. When you spend that four hundred dollars, and you're not interested, and you go to f- call your side nigga who's taking you to the Denny's and the McDonald's and his house for Netflix, you got him on the fucking speed dial ready to call him after I just spent four hundred dollars. Let that nigga take you. If you're really not that interested in me, let me take you somewhere where you ain't breaking my budget, and we both can enjoy it. That way, I won't feel as bad if you're in your phone the whole time while we're trying to have a date. And you got this nigga on speed dial. I'm not mad. So if we're dating, it's a first date. Like this is a first date. If this, this is my first, first date, I do want to take you somewhere where number one, I feel like I can see how you have fun. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I gotta, I gotta make sure I can have fun with you in some type of way. So I don't even know how you act first to take you to a, you know, a couple hundred dollar restaurant. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm one of them niggas. I have absolutely no problem spending money on the first date. No problem. Because my thing is, I still want to go to a nice restaurant. I'm one of them people that I've been, listen, I'm not a snob or nothing like that, but I've been out grew Red Lobster. When we was in our 20s and niggas were talking about Red Lobster, I was like, what? Why? You go anywhere else. Why, Why Red Lobster? So I'm one of them people that I have no problem dropping a couple hundred dollars. I don't feel like that's a loss on my side because we both going out to eat if we fuck after this that's that's firm if we don't then then that's cool too but you're not going to ever tell me as we pulling up what's this this is Ruth Chris what what can call that shit Ruth house Chris steak listen so somebody this talk- time then why the ladies got to be hoes because some of them are what they are. Well, they, some are who's some we got are ladies. Z- we got to zero in on who who. Number one, let's let's be very yeah. clear because I, yeah. I want to make this very very clear. This list is a troll. It's a troll. It's I'm a thing that people that a person put out like, oh, this this gonna get them mad. So for argument's sake, we are making up this person in our head who is abiding by this list who sees this list as fact and we're giving them an identity and their identity <laughs> is, is a bit of a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> ownership. And, so she and, has and to take some, ownership of that. Yeah, take so ownership. Let me be clear. There are some ladies out there that actually seen this list, thought it was real, and agreed with it. Like, yeah, fuck all these places on this list. And I'm nah, seeing the list as a man. Bless I've seen the list at the man. Shit, there, there are a few places you don't take a woman on the first date. Okay, <laughs> that's one. Yeah, there are a few places on there you can take a woman on the first date. And there are some places in the middle you're taking them there because you know she's a hoe. So that's why we're going there on the first date. And let's be real. Dre, he's shaking his fucking head like he never knew a girl was a hoe. So he tried to do the Netflix and chill with her. He just been rapping to her. He's like, period. Before okay, that. so don't so stop shaking your head like you too, like you've never done that. I just want to keep why. it a bean. <laughs> I want to keep it a bean. They put buffets on there. I've been to some buffets that were we've we've left the buffet and the shit cost me like two hundred and fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like the 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 where do, where do we go for your birthday that time, Dre? Uh the Brazilian steakhouse. That ain't nothing but a buffet. Yeah, that shit. They fire. just come to your table and give you food. You know what and, I mean? And it it was um it wasn't Shima. It was the other one. Uh, you 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 you. I went there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah we always yeah. there together. We could yeah. Bring your own alcohol. Remember, we walked walked. To oh no, that was the other there. one. Oh no, you're. Oh, we about went to two. We went to two. I forgot that was the one. Remember that the blood squirted onto my wife's shirt. She did not like that. 
You don't I remember am, that? I am not aware of this. Yeah, we got all the free. We got all the free uh coupons to come back. It was like fifty dollars off or something like that. And she was like, "We're never coming back here." So okay, <laughs> so let's, 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 move, let's move the conversation. Yeah, move the conversation along. Let's start off. Where there's some places. I'm going to name a couple places on this list that I don't think you should take a woman on their first date if you're serious about it. Give it to me. Chipotle. Your house, if you're serious about Nigga, it. Nigga, you tripping. If you're serious. If you're trying to, like, you know what? I you wouldn't like cook? It. Like, what if you cooking and you got a right, no, dinner? I, you can make it I, romantic. I, listen, okay, listen. I hop, Denny's. And okay. you damn sure don't take her your first date, a chick on your first date to a family function. I'm sorry because you, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that because you just weird. you that I'm gonna start there because your fucking expectations. You might be crazy. And you might yo whoa whoa whoa, whoa 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 whoa. Uh, Before you continue, what if she is a dime, a dime? Then that's yeah, it. Then, then, then niggas is going to be getting at her, and you're gonna if try. She's to... a dime. <clears throat> Did, I don't even think I would take it. I would <laughs> want to take it there on the first date. Have I'm like, it? yo, Have if she's a dime, I'm trying to do the impressive shit. Him. I'm like, I'm trying to take her where somewhere where it won't break my pockets. And she, you know. Kev, you breaking them pockets. Nah, yeah, I'm. Yeah. Nah, Kev, you breaking the pot. You coming no. home with with <laughs> you coming home with the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other, thinking about damn, should I have spent that money? Mm-hmm. Fuck it. I plant the seed. <laughs> you know bro, what I mean? it's a, yeah. bro, but yeah. there's a fine yo, real shit. There's a fine line between you impressing her and you look like a sucker. And you gotta fucking if you you know what I mean. I mean, you look I can you know agree I mean? to that. Yeah, because if you that. fuck it, because she'd be like, look, this nigga, I got this suck ass nigga to blow everything on me tonight. What? Oh, and I'm not even gonna give no, it to Lucy. No, Could I ask no, you, you if you, you directing it though? This? Well, like, did y'all have a com- like? Are you have y'all been talking on the phone? Have y'all gotten to know each other before the first date? Because if so, she should know I'm not a sucker, or okay, at least, say, uh, or at least that I don't plan on presenting. I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna throw this in there. I'm gonna throw this scenario out here. You stop somebody. You stop somebody. You think they're attractive. Okay, and you and you talk and exchange numbers, and you say, "Hey, do you mind getting up tonight?" And it happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. They say they say yes. Mm-hmm. Now you got to look at her what she got on, and then you got to be like, "Yo," she be like, "Okay." If she's not too hesitant to give you the phone number, then you can take her somewhere nice. Where you will be pissed at is when you start going on a date, and because these dates is meant like. I guess when your food is coming out, it's meant for your food to wait so you can have these conversations. So you want to take her somewhere nice where the wait for the food is a little long so you can have them conversations. There's some drinks involved. Where you start looking like you're a sucker is with, and I say, you say you start with the drinks. And this mother, while you're conversating, this motherfucker head down the whole time in that phone, steady mm-hmm. texting. At that point, Either you should get up or limit her motherfucking menu options because she's really not that interested in you and you're about to fucking blow. <laughs> I think that's your money. Hey, yo. That right there makes you a sucker too, though. I don't care because I'm done. I'm kind of done with you at that point, dog. I'm kind of done with you at that point. I, I don't even want to talk to you. Swapping no her menu out for a kid's menu. Is yo, crazy. Hey. <laughs> 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 oh. But I'm saying, when you first. When, I'm over. Was, no, that's not, that's not the truth. That's not the truth. If you, yeah, if, yeah, you have a, if you think you have a dime, that is, you know, you got a dime. You know, you got a dime. You bringing her around and you showing her off at the yeah. I don't give a fuck what. So you're you gonna take yeah. a dime that you just what I just said been talking for like two, <laughs> you haven't you haven't done any dates yet, mind you. There's no. This is first date. This is first time us. This is us going out being in public somewhere. Before we were just having conversations on the phone. Man, Your that first is good, that initial is time. No, no, that's the thing y'all no, not getting. I'm, I'm listening to you, and what I'm saying is you, you are making a good point because just because she looked bad don't mean she ain't fucking crazy. She could be bad crazy. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of want to 
I don't know. I, I think I would kind of want to get a feel of who she is and how she conversates and how she brings herself before, before I decide to bring her in front of like my grandmother or my aunt, let alone my father. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just have her saying some crazy Poor shit and then I got to look to the side, look at them looking at me like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Especially if she's stupid. It's not a yeah. Oh, she's a motherfucking God. idiot. Because yeah. <laughs> because if if you anything like if your family any your, we all oh, have similar God. family members. Oh, my God. So oh, as God. soon as we get to the side, except for Kev family, that's gonna happen right then and there. But as soon as I get like somewhere yeah. where I'm next to like a family member, they be like, "Hey, yo, yeah, you're doing bad, but." Something ain't up there, ain't it? Yeah, you know I'm saying like <laughs> she a little <laughs> hollow up top, right? See, my mother was. I, just... I'm gonna get joked on right then and there. You know what I'm saying? It's awkward. It's awkward for the rest of the night. Can so I help? Nah, just... baby, you staying? You stay yeah, in yeah. There. You <laughs> you yeah, stupid like... ass in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that would be my mom. My mom, she just commented. My mom would be the one be like, "Yo," it will say it to her face, like, what? "Yeah, is you okay?" Like, yeah. is something wrong yeah. with you? That's why I Are said. you crazy? Let me or, she'll, you. Or, she'll like, ask can, or she'll look at me and say, you really gonna, you really gonna fuck with her? Oh, okay. Mom, have you seen yep. her? Have you seen this dumb bitch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got no brain because she give it away all the time. What you think I'm trying to pull off here, mom? <laughs> but you know what could be another... <laughs> Another backfire of family function with a first date, but it might be a, a help, a big help, because we are in a small area and everybody knows everybody. The nigga pull you to the side like, yo, you fucking with her? If a nigga say that to you at a family function, you fucking with her and laugh and don't tell you the rest of the story, they did something grimy to her. That's nah, a sign. That's that I... No, no, no. that Because the nigga be like, no niggas black like, yo, I hit that. Or you know, because I've seen it happen before. Niggas be like, you be like, oh shit, that's such and such. And niggas get to laughing. And the niggas like, what y'all laughing about? Like, he don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's so <the> last. <laughs> Nigga, you don't know. And niggas is like, all right. <laughs> Nah, tell me right there. Yeah, there, there. yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, right I'm, now. Off. Let me know what's I'm going on. This bitch off now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or at least if she had died uh, after tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's, what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. What can you say other than she burning? I mean, but, yeah, yeah. I mean, women gotta have a yeah. past too. Imagine a woman yeah. you you talking to a shorty and she bring you somewhere and a shorty pull her to the side like, "Yo, I hit that." That's hate. <laughs> you know that's what I mean? Hate. Yeah. Nah, hate. Just like I just nah, hate. Yo, my mm. uncle saved me one time. My uncle saved me one time because I was this old head. She was bad and I knew she had money. And I'm trying to get her out the bar. We talking at the bar. I met her in the bar. And we trying to leave the spot to go, you know, somewhere else. As I'm heading to the door, everybody's stopping her. My mom's, it's my mother's birthday. She stops me. She raps. She stops. Then my uncle grabs me before I get out the door. Like, Yo, nephew, she a freak. Huh? Yeah, Nep, she a freak, dog. Listen, you gonna have fun with her tonight. And she seen me talking to my uncle. It was like, yeah, I can't do this. Was that <laughs> like, did he save you or did he cop block you? Because I don't know. Like, kind of yeah, he, he didn't cop block I you. Save you. He he basically said, have fun. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah but fuck? he did it in the view where she could see. Yeah, text me that. Text me that, um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It was like, yeah, I knew the shorty had money. She was an old head. So I'm like, damn, damn you no lost much. out, Kev. That's messed up. Like, like, she got a nice ass ride outside. She's going to let me push nuances. the car. <laughs> yeah, she going to let me push the car and everything. She was going to let me push the ride. So I'm like, that. I was so happy. You have to shit. Take her to damn. Denny's. So you would have had no, to take her to Denny's. But Denny's? It was late. Yo. <laughs> At that time, it's the only thing open, Kev. Where are you taking her? Dog, not yet, but. Diner. A diner. I think a diner that is better. That was the fucking move back then. That was like normal. But listen, things are different nowadays. People are doing things specifically that they see on the internet. Yeah. Meaning, so let me, I'm a guy that walks around with a bag of, like these niggas walk around with bags of money. Like that's what they see is what I'm saying. So the, the thought process is, I'm going to come pick you up 
in my car, I guess these niggas, I don't know if they rent cars, whatever they do, in my car, clean as can be, I'm going to take you to the most expensive shit, I'm going to wear my Gucci loafers, I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to the nines because I want to impress. But I do think there is a space for for impressing a woman. I do think there is a space for that, but I'm just throwing that out there for the conversation. Y'all go ahead. This nigga, this nigga really said taking the chick to Denny, so hypothetically, because I mean, you that, love your yeah. wife. No, no, no. Listen, hypothetically, because you love your wife. Hypothetically, who said that? You get put. You get put into the dating <laughs> world. You get put into the dating world at thirty something years old, thirty nine. Mm, Are you terrible. taking a chick to Denny's? It's not reasonable now, Dre. Come I'm, on, man. No, no, no. I'm almost forty, so you, I have a couple months, and I'm going to be forty. In all honesty, I have I have my own places I like to go that are going to be expensive or a place that I might like to try that's going to be expensive. So, no, I'm not uh, going to go to Denny's because I don't want to eat at Denny's. I personally don't want to eat at Denny's. I want to eat at that nice ass restaurant that I like to motherfucking go to. And I'm going to eat something pretty light so I don't be fucking shitting myself the whole night before I get inside this bitch. Did I answer so your question? What is that? Yeah, so what is the appropriate age cutoff for Denny's then? Since you said it was cool, what is the age cutoff for a man? And a woman? I, don't I don't think you there. Yeah, and even then, oh, that's the bad was, spot, we man. only went to Denny's when there was nothing else open. The shit was open 24 hours. When was over we my head? leaving the club, when we were leaving the bar, wherever we was at, Denny's was a spot to go because it was cheap. We done spent entirely too much money where we was at. And they were fucking open. We could sit down to eat and chill and kind of let the night last a little bit longer before we all got home before the sunrise. Nowadays, I mean, especially after COVID, you ain't going nowhere but Wawa or something like that, crown fried after a certain time. But nowadays, if you, you can take a woman out to a respectable Italian restaurant or, you know what I mean, like something that's not. Not Olive Garden, Carabas. So, you know what I mean? Olive, yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. Like, so Olive got, Garden is done. Our, Olive Garden is Olive done. Garden is done. done. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> we that, Olive Garden is somewhere kidding. you go after you've been together for a nice amount of time. You hungry, babe? Yeah, let's yep. give you a little Olive. It's lunchtime. You know they got that all you can eat salad. <laughs> you know, uh, like, so I fucking hate Olive Garden, and my wife loves it. She loves to go yeah, there. I, I enjoy Olive Garden, it. but it's not salad. Is even good. even to this day, if I decide that I want to take my wife on a date, Olive Garden and Red Lobster is not it. These are the places we'll go to from the house. We just got off of work, type shit, and we have a little time to go grab something to eat. But when we decide to do date night. We going somewhere, you know. I mean, we going somewhere where the Italian name has 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 is a little hard to pronounce. You know, what I mean, we we leave in the area of of forty dollars and two for twenties and shit like that. We're leaving that and we're going somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like, that, what happened? Okay, yeah. where's your favorite day spot? Now I'm curious. You gotta, you gotta, hey, I need huh? you to down give up something personal. Where is your favorite date restaurant? Where do you go? Where's that your go to? Oh, as a date with my girl? Yeah. My, our favorite joint is Texas Row House. She loves Texas Row House. I can, I can say, I say, yo, I wanted to take her to Sammy's Fish Box in, in, in New York. It is a, is a nice seafood spot. It's right on the water and shit. She was like, nah, how about we just go to, let's go to uh, <laughs> Texas Road House. So I'm like, shit. That's a win for I, you, uh, though. Yeah, it it's is a win for me because I'm like, I'm about to spend like two, three hundred dollars at this spot just on the it's food, not even the drinks, like just two, three hundred dollars on the food. So you want to go to the fucking Texas Roadhouse? I'm not going to. So you're not going to stop that, eats, and no, you're going to buy more drinks, knowing you. Oh, oh we exactly. get more drinks. Drink what you want, baby. <laughs> Let me ask plus, you. Plus, my woman. Listen. Plus, my woman is is like a picky eater. This nigga, you can take her somewhere nice, and it's like she might get a steak or, or might not. But if there's no steak available, she's like, "Yo, they don't got chicken tenders on this menu." I'm like, "Oh, no, that's not why we here for." She's like, so I don't want to eat. I don't so want to eat here on a nice date night. Y'all still go to Texas Row House? Like, if you like, yo, I really want to take you someplace nice. Where do you go? I do. I, I, if she likes steak, you have to take her to a real steak. Please, you know what I mean? Like real shit. We haven't been on, and niggas gonna laugh. We haven't been on dates, but we did other big baller shit. So I ain't gonna. Flex I, that's that's that. not what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I yeah. want, I want, nah, I want nah. to your girl out to a nice restaurant. I and, really want to take. I really want to take her to New York to go to Sammy's Fish Box and just have fun in New York after we done eating there. 
Like that's a nice fucking. That's a dope, that's a that's nice weekend, pretty much. Yeah, that's a or nice. You need, spot. A you need a room out there for that. I mean, New York ain't that far. I, I can drive back home. I can't get a room up there, but I can drive back from New York. Two, three hours ain't gonna make it worth the experience. You're gonna be drinking, have a good time. Yeah, but man, like only place I can stay, like to get, I would have to stay in Manhattan. That's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, like a that is no a kids. planned out shit. That's a planned out joint because I would have to stay in Manhattan. I'm not taking. You just can't get any spot in New York. I'm sorry, Airbnbs, man. You're right? Nah, you're hell no. Nah. You just can't, dog. You just can't go anywhere in New York. So I'm as a forty year old, all of us as forty year old men, wipe the slate clean, no girlfriends, no nothing. Where? are you going on a first date where is your like you're like yo this is this is going to be a nice evening with this girl she's going to enjoy this see you have to go across the bridge you have to go to philly you either have to go to philly new york because that's where all the real they're real restaurants out there no, i like and- I like so as a- with, like seafood restaurants i uh, hopefully she'll like seafood especially like if you're going on like to the Baltimore Harbor and shit like that. You get to eat over the water or something nice. You know what I mean? And I don't mind the long ride because, I mean, y'all know I smoke. Hopefully, uh, she'll be able to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm lucky enough to have a wife who accepts me for who I am. You know what I mean? If she's in my car, she knew the rules. I just don't smoke in her car. It's fair, right? So <laughs> if we got to take a long ride, we'll crack the windows. She let me do my thing. She ain't got to do nothing but be passenger. We talk, listen to music on our way to wherever we go on, knowing that we're going to have a good time. Well, I was so talking I about a new date. Go ahead. Yeah, but that's what I'm it's saying. Hopefully, that's what I would like to do. Take that nice little drive. You know what I mean? Get the smoke, chill. You conversate on the way. You kind of get to know somebody before you even get to the meal. Kind of skips the awkwardness, in my opinion. You know what I mean? You get there, you already familiarize with each other. Get to have a couple drinks, talk about some more other shit, you know what I mean, that you're interested in. You got mm-hmm. the harbor right there, so you can walk around the harbor, enjoy the night, maybe get a room out there. And it ain't really as expensive as it, as it would seem, you know what I mean? Might spend a few hundred dollars, but you're spending it for, on the experience and not just dinner. So you know you're going I mean? somewhere, you can't wear your Jordans. You're a Jordan hit, you're a Jordan dude. Why, you, why can't you, I wear my Jordans? Because some think? spots, some some spots require you to be casually dressed. Some yeah, but I can dress up casually and put on, on a jacket. On, you know, nah, I mean? nah. Some it's a get lot of spots. To the fucking- Listen, don't get it twisted. Nah, there's a, have, a lot of places I've got that say shoes, that you got you I've can't got have loafers, shoes. I've yeah, got sneakers. Yeah. I, I, my my, my, my shoe, shoe closet, my my shoe closet is is fine it, for whatever more. occasion. You know what I mean? So, I got so, whatever. So what about what's the amount? What's the amount limit? What's the limit? Because you think of there is no limit. That's young bullshit. There's no limit. There's no budget. There's no budget. There's young. That's young bullshit to be like, oh shit, I only got. All right, we go on. Nah, it's like like Kev just said, you spend it on the experience, so it's not really about a limit because at that point you're like, okay, well, what do I really want to do? How do I? Because I don't care who you are. If you like the girl. You gonna try to impress her, but it's not even really about impressing her. It's about having a good time. I want to set this hey, up so that she wants to fuck me at the end of the night. The fuck? Hey, hey niggas, hey dudes. I hope y'all listen. I got. I'm about to throw y'all some game. I, I mean, I asked a game. question, but it's all good. No, 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 no. Listen, it's it it, it lines up with your question. That's Please. what I'm trying to tell you. Listen, let's do it. I thought y'all do some games. Some game, guys. There's you can look like the boss and take her on vacation right out of the country there are cruises that leave out of florida if you're close to florida or anywhere in the area there are three-day cruises that you can literally pay 200 dollars a guest if you're already looking to spend in that little 600 dollars range for the date imagine you saying look i'm spending 600 dollars or 800 dollars i'm gonna fly you out we're gonna take a cruise real quick she think you done balled out on this shit you really done spent only 700 dollars and y'all on the cruise ships. Yo, y'all hit a couple of big, y'all hit a couple of spots. No, but listen. We I listen. Mean, I just that. seen a cruise. It's a cruise for two. I seen a cruise two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars for a three-day cruise. Okay, so what you trying to tell me? Okay, no, but okay. It's, it's, yeah, listen, it's, yo, what you, you trying already, to tell me? Okay. You just meet a girl, you're like, oh yo, I want to take you out. Yeah, yeah, we can go out. You be like, <laughs> I got a cruise, but we're gonna go on a cruise. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta listen, let her clear listen. time 
She's you gonna run. Yeah, she, she don't even fucking know you. Where Going is the cruise with this ball he head man? Yeah, he knows yeah. one. Yeah. Sure. I, they, they I gotta be there, be there with him listen. for five days straight. What if I don't? Three, enjoy it said the three days. Y'all you, you, niggas is not listening. Think about. No, I'm listening. Listen to your date. Listen to your date. I gotta go on. Please listen to your date. You you're trying to go on. You're gonna spend at least three to four hundred at the restaurant. Okay. You're at least gonna spend another. 100 to 150 on your fit. Let's come on now. Let's be so real. Cheap, is what you're saying. I'm not cheap, <laughs> but you can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm cheap. I wasn't you, even trying to come I'm at him. Cheap, I'm cheap, but I'm just saying. Cheap. I'm cheap, but damn. Look at dog. Who would look like the bigger dude? If, I'm like, yo, she'd be like, this nigga just <laughs> took me on a cruise on our first date. <laughs> like, bitch, you don't even know how much I spent on this shit. You ain't going to get the receipt, but I look like I did something. <laughs> When I really just, I, I was even until y'all go, this until shit, y'all right? go again the second time you go and nah, you realize, take... oh, we're doing that two hundred dollar cruise. That's no, 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 no. Then she nah, started thinking so... about all the bitches you probably took on this little cheap two hundred dollar cruise. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yo, it's automatic. It's damn near automatic. Like pussy, you gotta understand. You're sleeping in the room with me. First of all, you got to get her to agree that sleeping for the kid. Room, yeah, you got to get her to agree to this kidnapping that you attempt in the I'm not kidnapped. See, y'all think it's thinking. Y'all think it's thinking. Y'all think it's yeah. narrow-minded, man. I'm like, just saying, can we, it's, we it's, are? It's, it's, a, it's a good idea to <laughs> take yeah. someone after you kind of know them. But, Kev, what if that first date is horrible for you? Now you on this cruise with her for three days, and she done. And this is who you with. And now you out here. Now you out here on the water, and 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 you are the you are the one of the one of the fish that want to be with the other fishes in the sea. You know what I'm saying? I'll be with the other fish in the sea. Yeah, yeah, nah, I'll be with the other fish in the sea. You be a friend at that point. Go ahead, play yourself. We, I will call room service. Split these mattresses up. She got her side of them. I got my side of them. They do do that. They, they do do that. <laughs> we had them. Play Niggas, I will be at the Kev going to be. Yeah, at, I will be at the, the club. I'll be at the club. Come back drinking in at the room, bar. Get her shit other done in. <laughs> Listen, realistically, though, realistically, <laughs> in all honesty, where are you going if you were dating right now? Where are you going? I don't even fucking like. I have a somewhere dated. where you ain't gonna have to take PTO for for this shit, Kev. <laughs> you know I mean? no, it's it a weekend trip. It was literally I'll fly out Friday, get there, and be oh, back. Where by are Sunday. you going? Yeah. Think well, about I, it. Reasonable, yeah. Kev. Reasonable. Oh, Kevin, man. Kevin, Kevin hasn't taken his wife out a day so long. He doesn't even know. Nah, because we've been we, we've been doing vacation. But we've been vacation. We about to go on another vacation pretty soon now. I, I get it, bro. I'm just saying, um, like, yeah, I haven't I, going out and just showing yeah. you, showing you, having a good time with her. See, it's I don't even know because I, like, probably I don't know. Probably somewhere just in some corny steakhouse in Philly where I got to get dressed up at. It's just why I got to be corny. But because you know like you I'm, I'm a, yo y'all do y'all understand the type of y'all know the type of person I am. I like a loud atmosphere. I like to laugh. I like to be loud. I like to have. Yeah. I like to entertain myself. So if I can really take her somewhere, it'd be some. It'd be a all. It'd be an all day event, man. It'd be like a comedy be, show. I'm about to say you know you can just give any answer, right? It doesn't not, have to be. Yeah, yeah. It'd probably it'd, over the top, Kev. We just. It'd Where probably be know? like in the after it probably in the morning. We probably like it really it'd be a multiple day. If like yo, we just gonna go to a nice spot to get some breakfast. I wanna I wanna take you to the gun range, just go have fun at the gun range. And like you said, maybe you do a cop do a comedy show at the end of the night, and then we hit a bar to get some drinks. I, I know I have fun doing that. The the, the breakfast and a good is full, we'll be able to talk. Fucking chill. Then we'll go out, have some fun at the gun at the breakfast, have some fun at the gun range, shoot some guns. Have some, you know, just you know, some bonding time, something a little scared. Then we go to do the comedy show to get the laughs, you know, to make you feel at ease with me because that's the type of person I am. I'm, I'm always going to be a, a funny person. And then at, and then at the end, get some drinks because I'm trying to hit now. So I done made you laugh, <laughs> fed you, and everything. So get a couple of drinks in you. Maybe go somewhere to dance and see that sounds whatever like a lounge. I said no the best day. day. It's a that's dope ass thing. day. This nigga yeah. think we like, yo, you gotta go to nah, nigga. That's a dope no. day. That's, a day, day. But that's the shit that I would. 
I wish my wife would say some shit like that to me. Oh, yeah, I'm down for all of that. <laughs> man, I gotta wear a suit. I don't want to wear a suit. <laughs> I don't, man. I don't. I, it's not... Probably some corny ass steakhouse. I gotta wear a suit. Yeah, out. Just gotta... gotta be quiet. Gotta sit here, hold my hands folded. <laughs> Yo, gotta be quiet at dinner. Is fucking insane, bro. <laughs> no, Yo. the gun range sounds fucking amazing. And then out, but that's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with taking a a woman out on the first date to what you just said or what he just said. It's it's not that that's the point I was trying to make. Me personally, I would do something like like I'm I'm almost 40 years old. I would go to Top Golf and then out to a nice restaurant. Like mm -hmm. I want to do an activity so we can so I can see our chemistry on how you know what I mean if we can laugh and then go I'll take you to a to a it don't gotta be no four hundred dollar restaurant or nothing like that, but a nice restaurant that it's like, oh, I heard the food here was very good. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you feel about this type of food? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, we out. Like it's kind of going to be a, a, t a decision we already make together. Hey, where do you like? I know this place, this place, this place, or this place, and then we go from there. So to me, I, I don't trick. I never tricked, but I never had a problem. Um, I never had a problem paying to go to a nice place when I had money when i worked at the yeah, place you really just got to know how to <laughs> set your scene you know what i mean because in all reality it ain't about how much money you actually spent it's funny. about how how the day turns out how things how the vibe and the groove is you know what i'm saying how the companies mix and match like you can go somewhere regular and still have a great time and like you said just do a bunch of activities and make the day eventful you know what i mean and i just personally like to go different places i mean like out of the states so, you know what i mean especially if we both living in the same area you get tired of seeing the same shit if i'm from here and you're from here it's a guarantee that through the 40 years of life we've somehow crossed paths some way some somehow or you've eaten at this restaurant as many times as i have let's go somewhere different you know what i mean let's share a new experience that kind of brings a whole different vibe. It's something that we both ain't never done before. And it kind of, you know, changes the, the aspect of what's going on between the two of you. Different conversations can be brought up because it's all newness at that point. It's all new experience. So you get to talk about something different. It doesn't necessarily have to be about you or what you've done or, or what you're, what you're doing. It's what's going on right then and right there, right now. You know what I mean? And that kind of brings you a little bit closer. And then, you know, you could kind of, it's a, for me, it's an easy icebreaker. Just all new shit. Yo, I ain't never done this before. You did that before? No. Nah. All right, let's do that. Go Boom. Right. Boom. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, see, like but it's, it's, it was another thing about this whole situation about these dates is like, you got to know the woman that you're talking to that you're initially talking to because they might not be your type of your speed. Like these, like these, these girls that whoever made these lists and the, and the women that are green with these lists, you can see the age is a huge age gap. Mm -hmm. A lot of young brothers ain't got, ain't balling like that because they still trying to figure themselves out. They ain't balling like I, like that to go take you to these expensive ass restaurants. So to them, you know, they're young. We're t I'm in my twenties. I got to live within my means. Maybe a cheesecake factory day is nice. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Fire. At, I love Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, if you're young, you get what I'm saying? Because that was a spot. That was a spot to take a girl. I took a sh one of my old girls there. I think I was like, I think it was like 19 or something. I had somebody like, all right, Cheesecake Factory. Did you get the Cheesecake like, at that? You know, yeah, I, I, really, I really wasn't, I got it, but it's like, I was like, because that tells me something. Yeah, and I really found out when I really didn't like cheesecake too much when I ate this shit. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan. I ate half, I ate half this cheesecake. shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So, but still, I was like, that's that's cool. Like these girls that are in their 20s, like, yo, guys that between the ages of 19 and 27 are like trying to figure themselves out. The ones that are going to be really successful are going to school, so they really don't have a lot of money. Most of their Money is invested in them in their education and shit. You know, their parents are supplying them. They don't got a job. So when they get older, they will have the money to take you to these nice and expensive places. And these young girls is looking past that shit and getting with some of the dudes. Oh, well, I'm getting with a nigga with a hell cat and ball. Okay, that nigga is probably <laughs> some of the times a drug dealer. I'm like, I'm, I'm laughing. 
because th- that's a that's a specific type of person too. Like the guy yeah. with the Hellcat and the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. Gucci sneakers. Like yeah. he's the guy that's he's selling drugs. Money first. He said that's selling drugs. I mean, he yeah. could he could very well be like you know he could be, but it's he's presenting money first. So the I'm girl saying. who sees the guy that presents as money first might expect to be taken to these types of places, which I don't know who's wrong in that situation. Maybe they're both not. But that's the thing. Like, you, like if he's li- like, I'm not going to say all guys that have a lot of money are doing illegal shit because maybe you're doing something. Maybe you're doing trades and stocks or whatever, or you're because social media is a yeah, mm-hmm. social media is a thing now where you can make money off of that. But in my time and where I grew up at, where all this shit wasn't available to you, most of the dudes that had not full of money and nice cars, a lot of them niggas sold drugs when they were young. So a lot of girls is like in their 40s now, like I got this fucking shitty baby dad. He ain't shit. I'm like, well, he was a drug dealer back in the day. And I don't know how much longer niggas was going to keep smoking crack for. You drug niggas done, move, nigga, niggas done moved on to painkillers and, and, and heroin. Nigga, he, he, he didn't switch his game up right yet. And still, like, a 40-year-old drug dealer is, is, is you 40 and still selling drugs, man. It's like, got to start rethinking shit because your retirement plan ain't going to look too good. You know what I mean? That's I, that, Just be personal. But that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, people got to have realistic thoughts when they're looking at people like, Yo, you dealer Shannon. I don't give a fuck, but (laughs) but I'm saying if I'm 40 years, if I'm in my 40s like I am now, I have the money, I have a stable job, so I can afford to take you to nicer places. But I don't want to date a younger girl. And the women in my and the women in my age group are kind of they like the expensive dates, but they're also happy with the cheesecake factory, and they're also. What's the youngest you'll go if you were single right now? The, the the date to make a relationship, bro. I'm sorry, I, you you least got to be 37. When I start referencing certain shows and songs, oh, old bitches. No, because yo, I'm not like so. You get released. Old, you get released to the wild. Released to the wild. You back on the prowl. This is yo. This is my man. Hold on. This is Dash on the prowl, right? You fresh out the gym, you got the six pack back. You saying you want a 37 year old? I am fucking. I'm listen, let me make this clear to you. So, so you understand the niggas out there. I'm fucking everything that is of legal age. Make that clear. That's not, terrible. 20 too. to my age, I'm knocking you off. You took it. Okay, you get hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm know. saying? You're getting hit. You're getting hit, and I'm doing shit and I'm tricking. But oh, when I'm ready, if I'm there. trying to date to make a long relationship. I am going with my age group, so I have something to talk. When the shit starts slowing down and the sex and everything starts slowing down, I got something to talk to you about. You I'm not get, sitting. You up, gotta take no. some of these girls out to fuck them, though. I, what I'm saying is, if you're dating, I'm going, if dating, you're dating, yes, that's what I said. Date Drake, dating. There's no age limit. All okay. right, there we go. That's goodness gracious. Yeah, you, you mean you, you didn't understand? That's what I just said, said motherfucker. This is what I fucking said. I said, is it? it? Oh, That's motherfucker, it. I just said it. I said there's no okay. age limit to fucking in dating. Dating, there's no age limit. When I said dating to settle down, meaning dating to make a relationship, nigga, a long-term relationship, yo, y'all ones that I'm dating and fucking in y'all 20s, y'all are not making a cut. Who's making a cut, the final cut to become my girl, is the one in my age bracket. Because that's okay. how I date. I date I date multiple, and then I narrow it down to one, and you get picked out of the bunch. And okay. I'm done with the rest of y'all. Okay? That's been okay. that's been me since the dawn of time. I always kept the rotation. When I'm tired <laughs> I of the rotation, there, bro. I, I knew pull it. you I out the rotation. The, the, I felt it going in this direction, you, bro. You, you are finishing the game. I got my rotations throughout the game, oh, first God. and third, and First quarter, second quarter, and third quarter. When it's time to finish the game in the fourth, and there's only three seconds left on the clock, you are the one that's starting. I'm pulling you out of that rotation. You're starting, and you're going to finish this game. You're going to give me my chip. You're going to get the ring in the end, maybe. Oh, my maybe. God. Maybe. Right, folks, <laughs> I'm just saying. You got to get Kev going. You got to get him going because something's going to come out of it that you just go, it's going to make you laugh. Oh, my God. I don't know, man. 
I'll give me a fucking uh oh can y'all see me? No, yeah. you fuzzy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, my wife, because my wife's calling me, of course. Uh, but y'all here. I can hear you. You can tell you can mute your you can just you send yourself a happy it's face. It's just on pause. No, I can hear you. I can still hear you, but so what is your age range, dog? What, what, what my Chad. age range? I'm gonna That's tell you, you I'm, my I'm age right. range would be from fucking honestly from maybe 27 up into my age honestly up until maybe maybe 41 42 like something like in that space like that's who i would be dating okay yeah. settling in then settle now when you're no, ready to settle in dating. dating i meant when i said dating i meant one thing i meant just dating oh okay i thought you but see you date but i thought you date to find somebody you want to be with so am i the only one that's well, yeah, dating to find but... somebody to be with but yeah, but you just you split it up into two things. You said uh dating, uh, fucking, but I'm I'm thinking like <laughs> I'm thinking when I said dating, I meant that whole thing. I meant like uh, dating to fuck. Like to me, they're uh, one and the same. You uh, are dating, and the ones that you don't like or that you don't want a wife, you don't wife them. And the ones that you do want a wife, you wife them. If they're in that age range that you are dating in, if they're 21, you're like, nah, I'm good. I don't even want to fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Because who knows what kind of shit you do? You might think it's cool to bust the windows out of my car. Like y'all think it's cool to y'all think it's cool to do to do weirdo shit because you of that. You know what I mean? I got nieces that's 21 and shit like that. So no, that's mm -hmm. creepy. By like 27, you you have enough experience in life to where we can at least talk about something. You know I what I'm saying? Thought about something, Dre. Imagine dating a 20 year old. This bitch just start doing TikTok videos in your living room. Why are you trying Bro, to watch TV with her? She might, and I might just have to drop kick her out of my house. You gotta go. You gotta go. Do you know who Marty McFly is? <laughs> who? Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of my house. He don't know Michael J. Fuck out of here. Can't, can't they just chill and watching the game? Hey, she gets bored with the game and just start TikTok and this nigga just look at her like. <laughs> yeah, yo, you got to get the fuck up out of here. My daughter TikTok is. That's crazy. Y'all are really competing for views. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, I mean, there's adults <laughs> nowadays that TikTok. They be growing themselves. You know, you know, you got a best friend that be TikTok and care. You be watching his videos and shit. Oh man, don't say that nigga name. <laughs> hey, Kev. So yeah. what's what's your what's your dating range? And because I'm gonna make it more. Yeah, he already what's pretty low. He already pretty low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah my wife is young. Uh, so you're graduating high school with <laughs> Yeah. Or <laughs> I I don't really date under like 30. You know what I mean? Because well, you now. just did. She just no, turned 30. <laughs> no, <you're talking> about... <laughs> no, uh, we've been together. Good. We've been together we're for 31. over five oh, years. We've been 31. together for over five years. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't forty then. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? As you, as I get older, so does the bar get older for women. Unless, it, listen, I hope that this is this is my forever woman for eternity. You know what I mean? We work out very well together. Leah, he's not going to leave. You. This is just hypothetically. So I'm yeah. just throwing this disclaimer out, nigga. You can talk freely. Talk freely. Yeah, no. Nah. She already know we talk shit about this shit all the time. Like just she, be, she, be, she talk about how she got to get a new one. That's her. That's her phrase. Uh, going, I'm give me a new one. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I'm going to put you. Me. In, she I'm gonna put you in Doctor Strange universe. But when, Doctor, when Doctor Strange went to the other universe, that other universal Kev, your other King the Conqueror. What the, would that King the Conqueror do? At forty years old, thirty would be the max that I would go. I mean, dating wise. If I'm, I fuck it. I mean, I would probably you could be 25 or older. I, ain't, I'm not really like. I first of all, I'm not gonna go as low as you. 20. You got to be able to buy your own alcohol. That's number one. I said, and you said 20 and up, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. Rape. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man, but rape, man. She, yeah, she, nah, she, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, nah, I'm good. You good. I hit it with some of this old. It was some of this old man, season nah. dick. This dick seasoned yeah. up, baby. This is like one yeah, of the old season killings. <laughs> yeah, that shit like that shit like uh fucking Wrigley's gum. That shit don't last long, <laughs> nigga. So it's seasoned, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> it's seasoned, <laughs> but that shit don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, you know, the flavor going on that for about a good maybe seven minutes. It's like, oh, no, no man. <laughs> Damn, that was a jumper. That was a three pointer from Drake. Oh, but but yeah, I mean, we gotta have something to 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 talk about. You know what I mean? Like, I can't I can't I can't talk to these young bitches about nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm at the age where, when I was young, I used to look at people my age and be like, "You old fuck." You know what I'm saying? I'm the whole fuck now. You know what I mean? So it's like. Yeah, I, I can understand. I, I, the interests that I have nowadays don't align with the interests of younger people. Even with my younger cousins, I'll be looking at them. They'd be talking. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And then when I walk away, I'll be like, that's just how wack as hell. What the hell? You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I mean? Like, but. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Look, she be riding with Kevin. Let me see an ox cord and throw sexy yeah, red on. Nah, we, no. Yeah, no, yeah, you got to get out. First of all, I ain't my shit's Bluetooth, baby. I don't got no aux cord. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's number one. Nah, you're not. Nah, nah. I'm like Chris Tucker when it comes to my car. You not touching my radio. You know what I mean? Like new bitches won't like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you ain't got a fan of either, so they don't like that neither. Oh, you listen to the you listen to the Jay Z. He old. I mean, I listen. Don't get it twisted. I still listen I to some. I listen to all types of music. I listen to all over the world type shit everywhere. But motherfucking, you just don't get to control what I listen to. What I feel that day is what I feel that day. You could either ride or you could. Yes, I mean, yeah. yeah so where you set, so where you but, where you settling in that, yo? Where you like? I told you, you at forty years 30? old, I'm 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 well, dating thirty or higher. I'm not really dating over my age, you know what I'm saying. And then uh, if I'm just if I was just out there fucking, I would probably limit it to 25 because there's places that you got to get in. You got to be 25, somewhere between 25 and 30 to actually get in. Why y'all think you these new bitches don't have conversation? I didn't say Where they didn't have conversation. I I just think I my interests don't align. Is you know what I mean? Listen, I got a daughter that's 21, <laughs> and I. Like when her little girlfriends came over, it was no converse. It was like, hey, saying, hey watch, how you doing? Watch yourself, bro. Watch I, I'm not, I'm no, I'm not. <laughs> nah, that's my daughter, that's my daughter's friend, dog. I, I'm not gonna do that. Ah, another, yeah. and another brain with and another foul nigga would have done that shit, but it's like I matured now. That foul nigga is out the system. But it's like you talking to this motherfucker and you hear the conversation, even in conversation with some of my younger cousins, like Ken was saying, it's like. Yo, I gotta get away from y'all. Like, I love y'all. I'm happy to see y'all, but we talking about two completely different things. Y'all are talking some shit right now. I just, I don't, I don't agree with. And it doesn't mm. make sense. And I've been through y'all, I've been through y'all path, and I'm trying to tell y'all what y'all think y'all about to do is right is really wrong. But everybody got to learn. I think that's what it is too. Like you can see the idiotic decisions as they're being made and you'll be like, mm, you got to go through your stupid phase first. And I don't, I wouldn't want to deal with that. I don't want you to go through your stupid phase with me because then I got to actually tell you that you're stupid. That's stupid. Don't do that. You're, what do being, you say, you're being an idiot. What do you say to the 28 year old who got it on the ball? She is, she's done Kudos school. to you. She's done school. She's in her career. She's a realtor, you know, she makes a great amount of money. And when she does meet you and go on a date, she wants to go somewhere nice, but she has no problem paying. She drove her own car. She got it when she, she got her own crib. She got it on the fall. She talk, she talking about stocks and shit that she invested in. She's a 28 year old. What do you say to that woman? I'm keeping her because I for a change in, 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 in so you just abandon, the you just abandon all your beliefs. Yeah, because I'm for a change. I'm not dating down. <laughs> uh, you, you can't. You came with everything to the party. I'm just a fucking. I'm just icing on the cake. I need this nigga to go. Yo, you in a Hall of Fame nigga, yo. You in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Did you see the way he looked down? Like, mm, I fucked up. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, man. Y'all can... <laughs> I wish he was in the same studio. 
god, yo. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> that was fucking dumb. <laughs> Hey man, listen, Ooh. niggas ain't gonna say that. I say four niggas, man. I listen. get what you say, because yeah, where do you okay? <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Like make her prove real. me make her prove me wrong. <laughs> you prove me the fuck wrong. Like, make come on, man. Wrong. Like it's some it's some shorties that yo, I dated right. up. It's some shorties that had yeah, but it's a, a lot of times in my life, yeah, I dated mm. down. Like man, you you got nothing going in your direction. Mm-hmm. Like nothing in the converse, and no one ain't got nothing going in the conversation. Not the good pussy, but you gotta be like, man, you gotta get out of here. Like, this is just fun <laughs> getaway <laughs> ASAP, dog. Have a little yeah. bit of fun. Don't slip up. I think you should wear rubber with this one. I know you like to go roll dog after a couple of months talking to the chick. Keep it rubbered up. <laughs> this ain't gonna end well. <laughs> You go. You gonna be in debt with this bitch the rest of your life, man. Like kids that you gonna have by this motherfucker, you gonna be in debt the rest of your hey, life. Yo, hey yo, I feel like Kev is going in a, on a rant about real shit in his life right now. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Hell, crazy, nah. Yo. Hell no, cause I ain't got. He was no, feeling like crazy. Yeah, I feel like a hell no, my wife was about my, to come down. My, hell no, my wife, <laughs> my wife. My wife took my wife took me. She paid for our trip. And I was on it down to go to motherfucking uh, what's the island? what's the joint we went to the Virgin Island? Uh, what's the name? And I Saint went to uh, St. Thomas. She paid for that shit. Mm. Fuck, it have, I'm in. That's the that's the luxury I'm in right it now. Wasn't your first date though? It wasn't my first date, but listen, I put an investment in this shit. Now it's paying off. Motherfucking make more money than me an hour. I'm good. But there's a lot of motherfuckers that don't have that same vision. You really date down to these motherfuckers, and they so. think. So them becoming the manager at McDonald's is a big deal. So like, she wear the pants in a relationship now. If she can wear the fucking no, she can wear whatever she wants. She wear the <laughs> pants. Wear the financial pants. She can wear it. Wait, no. All the stories. <laughs> <story. laughs> <laughs> financial <laughs> pants. Please. You hear what I said? Please call this episode. Wait, 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 wait no. Wait, I can. <laughs> yeah. Wear the financial pants. I'm gonna fuck go ahead. Well, let me ask you. What's up? Let me ask y'all. Could y'all deal with a woman? Let's say you're dating now and the ages are more near your age. Let's take that shit completely out. And she does. She she got it. She got it, though. Like, I'm talking different from the girl I was just explaining. I mean, this girl got it. This woman got it. She got the crib. She The big crib. She makes a lot. She makes well into the six figures, mid six figures. I'm talking three to five hundred thousand a fucking year. She on the ball. Y'all go out on a date. Do you still? Do you now, knowing that she got the money, do you now dial it back and say, "Oh, let's go to you know, let's go to I don't know a bullshit restaurant," or do you say, "Let's go to the nice one that I always was thinking about going to on y'all first date"? She taking you out. You y'all going out? She take you me meet, out. I'm and you meet, and you meet regular. You meet regular. This ain't no weird shit. Uh, y'all meet. Y'all talk. Y'all been talking. She's like, hey, we should go out, and then and then you go out. What I'm do you do next? Making sure I'm not spending my bill money. Mm-hmm. I'll spend enough. I spend enough money on the date where I ain't fucking. I got gas in my car to go back and forth to work through that week, and I can eat Monday through Friday. And you ain't about to take eat my whole paycheck up because there's some places where she wants to go that she can go. That she can foot the bill. I can't be like, yo, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred dollars. Listen, man, I only make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Let me make it clear that's that fourteen hundred. That's my whole paycheck for the week. <laughs> you it ain't it ain't shit to you. You make that six figures. Going out, but <laughs> <laughs> leave it alone, yo. Just leave it alone, bro. Just leave that it. I mean, that's out, before man. taxes. Before taxes, that the taxes and child support that shit down no. to like nine hundred dollars. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> yeah, we're not going let's there. Not. Kev. I'm just, but I'm saying I'm going to have to stay within my budget. Now if she's putting the bill. I don't mind because I think women that are older and a little bit more, more mature mind, they will be like, "Yo, don't worry about it. I got this one." You know, she will know. You let her take yeah. it on because the first date. You let her take it. Now on the first date, you. 
in the first date, you got to do the initial. Because I think when you're dating at that age, you when you're talking on the phone, that you're asking each other where you work at and what you do for a living at that age. So you were having a mind. She would say, I, listen, I, I, where I work at, yeah. She'd be like, all right, I, I, she would understand my budget. Just like she said, hey, I own a law firm. Okay, I understand her budget. Her budget is way different than my budget. Okay, and she's mind you, she's still willing to go out on a date with you. Then she will understand that you know you spent the maximum amount of money that you could spend without breaking his pockets. And I think she would have an understanding of that. And the next couple of dates, if she wants to be like, I want to show you something different, <clears throat> and she paid for it, at least you can cover the tip. So you go to one of these crazy ass restaurants, and the tip is normally like a hundred dollar tip. It's like, all right, man. It's a hundred dollars, but you know what? She just spent all this bread on me. I got to leave this hundred dollar tip. It's gonna be hard placing a hundred dollar bill on the table for a nigga that ain't going that I ain't, you know, what I mean, just some good service. A nigga's grating cheese on my shit, but still, that's what you gotta do. Right or wrong. Now nah, you pay for it. Nigga, if a bill comes through that motherfucking joint and that bill says eighteen hundred dollars. Why you yeah, let it get why wouldn't you? Yeah, why would why wouldn't you have steered the date to where you would want to take? I'm her? talking about she yeah. she, but y'all didn't hear what I said. She takes you out. She says, "I want to show you something different." Her showing me something different, and she got the money to show me something different. Yo, it's places that a glass of wine is a glass of wine is three hundred dollars. You're absolutely. So my correct. wife takes me somewhere, and she spends a not lot your of wife, no, not, not a wife. That's That's any new day, any any person took me rich out. Woman. Rich woman, rich woman took you out. I'm and I I'm gonna foot I'm gonna hundred dollars compared yeah. to the to the meal that somebody just spent seems kind of light. Nigga, three hundred dollars for a glass of wine. So you, I'm saying she just spent she just spent all this money. Kev, you make a hundred thousand a year, right? Yeah, <laughs> she just I, spent, I do <laughs> I do I, I can pull my shit up. I can show you my shit. But uh, dead she, ass. All right, I man. shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have yeah, said that. You know, yeah, you yeah, try yeah. to you because you shooting that nigga pride now, nigga. You can't shoot that nigga pride. You know how much money you make. I know I make it. Oh you, shit! Here we go. Shoot that nigga pride. <laughs> Come on, man. That's not shooting that nigga pride. <laughs> that, it like, it if is. You, if I was had a homie. If you oh, you had shit. a homie that you knew work at McDonald's, you would not try to play this nigga. Like yeah, nigga. I I'm don't pride to, taste at McDonald's. I'm not trying to play you. I'm just saying. I know, but still. All right, no, but Ke- get back. To <laughs> like Karen. I was saying, if, nah, if she spent a nice amount of money on me for dinner, the least I could do is tip, regardless of how much the tip is going to be, because you just spent all this money. It seems like it's small potatoes when I put that tip down compared to looking at the check. You know what I mean? Put, like put down before. Yes, yeah, I mean it is what it is at that point. It could have yeah. been. It could have been reversed. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been reversed, and you was the guy that had to place the time Yo. looking at that, and then looking at the hundred dollars. Like, man, I wish I had to put that hundred on the it, table, and not that seven hundred. I was about to say, let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all. This honest question, because I've done this before. Have you ever been? You ain't even got to be trying to be nobody different, but you just got it. You like, oh, I got it. Don't worry about it. And then you instantly <laughs> regret it as soon as they pass you that bill. You and you got to pretend Ooh. that you good. I've been there where. I got it. Don't worry about it. It's like four of us. I got it. Now nah, nah, I'm gonna take it. Mm-hmm. You just give it to him, but you gotta pretend like you are. Right. You ever been in that situation? Yeah. When you get yeah, home, you right. breaking open your coin jar. <laughs> you go into yeah. the bank to catch the change. Oh, it. Oh. You are making grilled cheese in the morning, so you can have grilled cheese for lunch. <laughs> Man, I went to a spot. That bill. That bill came across that table. That bill was a. It was a few of us. It was like about eight of us, and that bill came across the table. That shit was like twenty four hundred. You start asking yourself, nah, bro. you start nah, asking man. yourself, when did they eat this? When did they drink this? Oh, had what? Oh, I didn't know she had that many damn lemonades. Like, yo, that's wild. <laughs> like, had, hey. Fuck y'all doing here? I had. <laughs> soup. I got the soup on purpose. <laughs> yeah, bro. When they split it. They slid that bill because we went to the the seafood spot. It was a, it was, I think you was there, Dre. That bill was crazy for my birthday. Yeah, it was a bunch of money for all of us. Oh man, niggas coming yeah. out like three, four hundred dollars a head. Four hundred just for the for the couple. You like God 
but we knew we knew what we was getting into though yeah. like all of us yeah. knew yeah. like you know what i mean you gotta know you wasn't gonna be like just like nobody was it's fucking 10 of us and we like don't worry about it i got no nigga i don't right now yeah. one day uh, i will but not right now I, we looked at that bill like niggas was looking like then niggas started counting what they had because the bill was crazy my, the, yo, craziest, my you, the craziest bill you've seen is 2400 20. You've never, I've never oh, seen so that much see. before, by the way. I've never seen that much before, but I'm Come asking on, you. Man. Hell, hell yeah, dog. I'm not. I, Dre, I'm sorry. I'm I've not. I'm not going somewhere. Me and my girl and a nigga slide me a bill and the bill say three racks. I can be doing something different with three racks than one fucking night. I could be on vacation somewhere for three racks. You fucking this you're, restaurant. You What's your idea of multiple shit. vacations? Huh? Clear. Yeah, I know, right? You think about 15. the wrong shit. Man, listen. They hand bro. me the $3,000 bill. I'm thinking about, I know that in high school, I ran a 4-4. Yeah. <laughs> this, this bitch I came with, she couldn't have ran nothing more than a 5. I'm yo. beating this bitch out the door. <laughs> yo, that break, yo. She will get caught. I'm going to be all right. Yo, that brings me to a sub. It brings me to a video I watch. So, just do. Shorty was filming this whole thing. She said, yeah, this nigga called me. I really don't like him. But he wanted to take me out for drinks. And she's like, I really don't like him, but I'm going to go out with him. So, I took him to my spot. It was, uh, I think she ordered, like, fucking, like, six or seven dozen oysters he just wanted to have some drinks and chill with it she didn't like the nigga but she thought she was going to run the bill up on this nigga and he put the bill the nigga said the nigga left her she was there still eating her oysters she's like i think he's not coming back he bounced he just yeah. watched you eat five dozen oysters like you tripping I think the bill came to like three hundred dollars, and she thought homie was gonna pay it. And he, and he, she didn't even like him. She said, "I'm just gonna eat on free on him." Yeah, he ran a that's four. That's how four. she. Yeah, that's that's but that's some foul. That's but that ain't that some foul shit. Like a shorty don't even like you, because that's a lot. A lot of females do that shit. They don't like the dudes. They just go out with them because it's a free meal. It's like, damn, I just spent all this money for you just to have a free meal and. When I call you, you don't really answer my texts like that or text me back or you really don't answer my calls. It's like, come on, man. Like, There's two schools of thought. I think that both people, both people are, are so the, the girl's a piece of shit for doing that. Like, if you do that, you're a piece of shit, man or woman. The guy, I feel like you have to do better in your vetting process to know if this motherfucker is into you. Now, if she's just lying... If she's just lying, then that's, you know, that's what it is if she's lying. But if she's not giving you the rhythm and you're still trying to make it happen, come on. Unless you're an ugly motherfucker, then you just got to take what you can get and pay $300 for seven dozen oysters. Who the fuck is eating all them oysters on a date anyway? She's going to have, she's going to shit her pants. You think she's going to fuck Bro, you? No. You should have seen the video. Bro, she's I'm like whale like, ass. <laughs> She was filming, yo. <laughs> she filming the video with knocking these oysters off, and he just sitting there, and she's steady with the video, not even paying him no attention in the video. Like, yeah, I'm about to get my, I'm on my third one. She got to her fourth one. She said, he with, oh, he he just gonna leave me and go to the bathroom. He don't know I'm about to order me another tray of oysters after this. She got to this the fifth one, like fourth tray, bro. Five trays, bro. A Damn. dozen oysters. She just <laughs> hit me shits. I'm like, I know <laughs> after the second tray, homie was probably looking at her like this fucking nasty, dirty, stink breath bitch. <laughs> no conversation because she's that on her easy. she's on her phone. No, because she's on her phone filming this whole shit. So I know he's tight, like, yo, I'm trying to have a conversation with her. He's steady trying, you can hear him like talking in the background, and she's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Filming this shit. A lot of left her off her being rude. Yeah, you leave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You leave her because she's rude, period. So, man. That's she's a Rudy Patootie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, man, let's wrap this shit up, though. But <laughs> oh my gosh, like Dre said, dog, niggas should see the signs. A chick like that, if she ain't answering your text messages <laughs> and all that shit, dog, that bitch deserved Denny's or cheesecake or fucking IHOP, like something like that. And if you at you said get a few drinks, and she start ordering wild shit at the bar, leave her ass there. She ain't letting see your phone calls anyway. Dead ass. I'm sorry. Before before we leave this. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out how how he got to the point of the texting texting beforehand. If it was the first date, I thought all that. Nah, they, he, after. nah he had. Well, she actually explained it. He got a number, and they've been communicating back and forth. And she's like, "I'm really not feeling him, and he wants to take me out on the. He wants to take me out for drinks so we can see Dishonest. each other. You know." Yeah. All right, she said, I'm really not. And this is her filming the video before she get. She's filming. I'm really not feeling him. But I know a spot where I get some get his drinks, but they got the oysters that I like. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna get me a free. I'm gonna get me a free. This we said. I'm gonna go get me a free meal. She's a fucking That's weirdo insane. who goes somewhere for the oysters. <laughs> bro, she's. I think yo man, she. They got the bomb me. oysters. What? Bro, this you just see her in the video hitting the hot sauce, homie trying to talk to her. She like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, yep, mm-hmm. Filming yeah, the shit slid on her ass too. I, I think like, that. Yeah. I mean, they would have never even gotten that far. To be honest with you, man. Yeah. You could tell it somebody. Yeah. 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 So vet the chick. Um. What else? I, I guess you know. What I mean, I think you should take people on dates. That is. Suited for the both of y'all, and you wouldn't get to know what a per- first type of person you're talking to just by the conversation you have on the phone. Do something that piques both of y'all interest. Correct. You do something to ball out and show the fuck out is a good chance she's gonna look at you like a sucker. But if you do something that is geared to her liking, and y'all both can enjoy yourself and enjoy, you know, enjoy the company and enjoy the atmosphere, it can spark something that's gonna last. Let me let me let me add some to just to close out um, the time where it is acceptable to just go and spend the money is when you got it. If you got it, there is literally no like because who cares? I'll, I'll be going here by myself if I was if I was alone. Hey, come with me. I don't give a fuck if you fuck me afterwards or not. We about to go. We about to get this motherfucking thousand dollar meal just because I got it like that. So come on, come get this thousand dollar meal, and if you're smart, you'll fuck me anyway. I just think that's there. That's what I meant earlier about there's a space for the people who do not necessarily show off, but that is my lifestyle already. I'm an NBA player. This is my lifestyle already. I don't go to mm-hmm. eat at Denny's. I go to eat at fucking Shima. I, I don't know. I don't know expensive restaurants. I go to eat here. They know me here. They call me Mr. Campbell over here. So I'm gonna take you there. Have my man Pierre hook us up a motherfucking swordfish with caviar on that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. Dre, oh, Dre out here, Dre out here telling the bitches he got the golden gun dick. One hit, one shot from this shit. You dead, baby. Killing the pussy. I mean, <laughs> if, 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 nigga, if that, that sell that up online. If that, nigga, if that were true, <laughs> it's not though. It's not. <laughs> It's not true, nigga. I got the golden gun, bitch. I shoot this, this put this dick shoot that pussy dead, bitch. I killed the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah, is real man. Thanks. That twenty, that twenty three year old did not know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo. So that's somebody, another episode. We out of here. Oh shit, never mind. Sorry. Go ahead. Nah, we out. Peace, man.